Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss on the locomotion of the grasshoppers. Okay, so they also have antagonistic muscles. That's the flexor and also extensor. Okay, notice here in this picture that uh, the extensor and also flexor, they are attached to the inner surface of the exoskeleton. Exoskeleton, that's the type of skeleton uh, possessed by this grasshopper. Okay, outer skeleton ataupun exoskeleton. Okay, perhatikan bagaimana otot-otot uh, ini, extensor dan juga flexor ini uh, dilekat ataupun terlekat pada permukaan dalam uh, of this uh, exoskeleton. Okay, so flexor bends a joint. If it is extensor, it straightens it. So the concept here is the same as the one when we discuss on uh, the locomotion in human when we walk remember the biceps femoris and also the quadriceps femoris so the concepts are the same okay now let's look at the appreciate the hind legs they are muscular they are long all right can you see the hind legs right here muscular and long in fact and that is because it is adapted for jumping and leaping. Mainly when we say locomotion in grasshoppers, we are referring to these two actions. Ini. Uh, the same lah actually jumping ataupun uh, dia melompat. Okay, rather than just uh, using the term walk. Okay, so first step. Uh, we talk about the locomotion, the mechanism of locomotion, first at rest. So when it is at rest, you can see that the flexor of the hind limb contracts. Uh, kalau flexor itu biar apabila dia contract, so it's going to pull the leg towards the body. So that's why we can see the Z shape. Z shape. Folded uh, in this position, the hind leg is folded into a Z shape. And that the grasshopper is now ready to jump or to make a leap. Okay, number two is that when the extensor contract. Okay, notice here, extensor adalah yang di sini. Contracts mean it, get, it gets shorter. Okay, let me show you. Okay, imagine this muscle gets shorter. So pulling will happen and it's going to straighten the, straighten the hind legs straighten backwards okay subsequently okay subsequently you get to see this position is like the catapult like ejection macam macam ini catapult where the hind legs this one uh, the hind legs is projecting the grasshopper forward and up into the air okay so that's the mechanism of locomotion in grasshoppers so I want to draw your attention here when we say the hind legs are adapted for jumping uh, or leaping. So that's why the hind legs uh, are bigger and also longer. Okay, and that uh, you get to see uh, energy stored in the tendon. Okay, that's, that will propel the grasshopper into the air. Okay, so during flight also, there's this pair of wings that is playing role. Flattened extensions of the exoskeletons. What happens is that these wings move upwards and also backwards. Upwards and also downwards through the air due to contractions of the flight muscles. So this produces a lift. Satu daya, angkat, eh? driving the air downwards, which in turn enable the grasshopper to lift off and fly.